All right, we have a super duper awesome lower body blast for you today. So you'll see I have a resistance loop around um, about mid calf. If you do not have a closed end loop um, like this, no fear. Um, if you happen to have an open ended band like this or resistance tubing with handles, that's fine. You can do the same thing. Just take that band Bring your feet together and tie it around secure it so it's closed okay from there I want you to do three sets of crab walks so you can use a hallway or think about taking about 15 steps in one direction and then take 15 steps in the other direction hips stay square feet stay square if your glutes are weak your toes are gonna want to flare out like mine are right now I'm trying to show you that okay so everything stays in nice alignment. Bend the legs, nice athletic stance as you take those 12 to 15 steps one way and then back. Shake your booty a little bit and then do it two more times. All right, from there, you're gonna take that band and you're gonna move it up above your knees. And then you're gonna come down. Strong glutes are the answer to almost any issue you'll have, whether it's your knees or your low back, okay? So you wanna open up your legs a little bit, put some tension against the band so the side of your legs are feeling that. Hold there, and then give me some bridges. So notice I'm not coming down to touch the floor after I start that first rep. That's what you wanna do. So you're gonna do 12 of those, you're gonna rest it, and you're gonna repeat two more times. After you've done three sets of those, you can get rid of the band. From there, you're gonna grab the heaviest weight you have. It could be upwards of 30, 35 pounds, depending on what you have. You're gonna bring the soles of your feet together, open your knees, hold the weight at your hips, lift a little bit, and then fast, frog pumps, 25 of them. All right, after you've done three sets of those, you're gonna keep the weight at your hips, you're gonna lift up a little bit, and then you're gonna get the biggest range of motion you can get going up and coming back down. Again, not setting your butt all the way down, it's fine if it grazes the carpet, but you don't wanna create that resting effect. So when you do those, you're gonna do three sets of 12 all right so you've got all of those sort of hip thrust bridging reps and sets down on the floor from there you're going to come up two big heavy weights where you're going to take it into three sets of dumbbell squats i want you to think your feet are as solid on the floor as possible like actively trying to pull your feet through your shoes, including those big toes. And then down, up, squeeze the quads, squeeze those glutes as you rise. Keep connected to your core. From there, you're going to take it into a, a front lunge, right into a reverse lunge, okay? So here it is, keeping the pressure out of the knees, dropping it into the quad, into the glute, into the hamstring. You're gonna do 10 total, step it to the center, and then do 10 total here. Rest, do another set. So two sets. And then curtsy, long into that side lunge. Curtsy, long side lunge, 10 total, and then repeat on the other side. All right, so that is that. You've got the three on the crab walks. You've got three on the banded bridge. You've got three on the frog pumps with heavy weight, 25 reps. And then you've got three on the weighted hip thrust from the floor with 12 reps. 
Then you're coming up for three sets of squats and then doing two sets of, of each type of lunge for 10 reps on each side. Super fun, awesome workout. Enjoy that blast. It shouldn't take you too long in the grand scheme of things depending on how much rest you need in between.